Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn about the input-output functions in the C programming language. So, before going to know about the input-output functions, so let us know about the input-output devices. Okay, so in a computer, the keyboard, mouse and scanner are some of the input devices. So, through using the input device, a user can give the input to the computer. Okay, and some output devices are monitor, printer, speakers. So, these are the output devices. So, user can get the processed information from the computer using the output devices. Okay, so here a computer is going to perform the calculations based on the input taken from the user. It is going to process it and produce the output to the user. Okay, so to perform any calculations, the computer will uh, for uh, to perform any calculations by using a program the computer is going to take the input from the user that is from the outside world using the keyboard okay and then it is going to process that particular input and it will produce the output to the uh, user using the output devices normally the monitor right in the C programming so we are going to get the output result in the monitor so it is going to take the input from the user using the keyboard and it is getting the out it is going to display the output on the monitor okay so like this it is going to perform the input output operations using the input output devices okay so this uh, so we in the c language we are having the different types of functions for the input output operations to be performed okay so normally the C compiler will maintain these functions and it is having some it is having the library function called stdio.h that is the standard input output dot h. So this is the header file. Okay. So in this header file, the C compiler is maintaining some library functions for performing the input output operations. Okay. So now uh, let us see what are the different types of input output functions here. So, input output built in functions in C falls into two categories that is and unformatted input output functions. So, here the name itself denotes that formatted means so we are using some format specifier in the uh, particular function, whereas in the unformatted any uh, format specifiers here it is going it is going to display the it is going to take a character from the user and it is going to display it on the screen okay so we are not using any format specifier in the case of the unformatted input output functions okay so these are the two types of input output functions so, so now let us see the um, unformatted input output function so we are having the get care and put care so these are the unformatted input output function so the get care function reads the character from the terminal and returns it as an integer okay so here the get care is going to take a take a character from the user only it is going to read only a single character at a particular amount of time and it is going to return it as an integer okay suppose uh, here we can using the get care you can take only single character as a input from the keyboard so get care is a input function okay it is a input function and it is going to take only single character at a time from the user okay a, a user can enter the only one character using the keyboard at a time so this is an input function and using this method in a loop if you want to uh, read more than one character you can use the loop and can print a string here okay here get care is going to print only one character at a time if suppose you want to print a um, string then you can use a while loop do while loop or any for loop like that and you can print the character you print a string okay so here the this is given the syntax of the get care that is variable equals to get care so whatever the uh, input that you are going to give it will be stored in the variable 
okay so it is going to get the character from the keyboard and store it in the variable uh, named variable okay so now let us see the next one that is a put char so put char is a output function it is an unformatted output function so it displays the character pass it to it on the screen and returns the same character okay so it is going to display only a single character at a time onto the screen okay in case if you want to display more than one character use the put char method in a loop so similar to the get character here if you want to print a if you want to print more than one characters then you can use the loop why we are using the loop means because it can print only a single character character at a time okay suppose i want to uh, print a particular uh, string called hi okay so it is going to first print the character h and then it is going to print the character i if i am using the loop then i can print this two characters if suppose i am not using the loop then we can print only one character here right using the put char and get char if you want to print more than one characters you have to use the while loop i mean you have to use the loop so here the, here there is he is given the example of the get char and put char okay so here we are declaring the header file here standard input output dot h so in this a standard input output dot h header file only the c compiler is storing the different uh, library functions related to the input output operations okay so next the program will start executing here from the void main and then int c so we are going to declare the character c sorry we are going to declare the variable c here and then print of enter a character okay suppose i am entering a character called 7 okay so it is going to c equals to get character then that way that character 7 will be stored in the variable c so then the character will be stored in the variable c and put char of c then here using the put char variable it is going to display the output onto the screen okay so the variable which is stored in the c that is 7 will be displayed onto the c that is a put char so it is going to output the result onto the screen so the on the screen c will be I mean the c variable that is 7 will be displayed okay so here enter a character i am entering the character 7 then on the screen put char of c then it is going to display the variable that is stored in the c so what is stored in the c that is 7 right so it will be displayed onto the screen so this is about the get char and put char functions these are the unformatted functions that means we are not using any format specifiers or i mean we are not using any uh, specification like type or width right simply we are taking a we are reading a character using the keyboard here and then we are displaying the result onto the screen okay so next one is the formatted input output functions that is a scan of and print of functions so here the standard input output header file named standard stdio.h contains the definition of these functions the print of and scan of which are used to display output on the screen and to take input from the user respectively so these two are the input output functions so using the scan of we are going to give the input to the we are going to input to the particular program so printf will display the output onto the screen okay so these two are are the format input output functions so here we are using the format specifiers okay that means we are going to use the type or width of the by specifying the format here so what is the format specifiers means suppose i am entering a um, i am entering a integer using the keyboard here then so i have to declare that scan of with the format specifier that is a percentage d or percentage i because since here we are using the for the type integer we have to specify it using the format specifier i comma d 
right so this is the these are the different types of format specifiers used in the uh, c programming language so for the type character so we are using the format specifier percent %c and for the type integer that is for the decimal number so we are using the i comma d so we can use any one that is i or d as a format specifier similarly for the integer type of octal number we are using the format specifier percent percentage o and for uh, displaying the hexadecimal number then we are using the format specifier as x comma x right for the unsigned integer we are using the percentage u okay and for the double or float type of integers I mean double or float type of numbers we are using the format specifier as percentage f so whatever the input you are going to give to the computer so the input type is so for that particular type for that particular input type is specified as using the format specification here okay so next one is so these are the different types of characters that we are using okay so we are using the backslash a for the alert sound and backslash b for the backspace and backslash f for form feed and backslash n for new line and backslash r for the carriage return and the backslash t for horizontal tab and backslash v for vertical tab and double backslash and backslash colon displays a single quote character so like this we are going to use this different types of escape characters here in the scan of and print of functions okay so now let us see how we are going to use this suppose i want to print a character i, mean, I want to take an input that is as a in so now let us see how to uh, execute the program for the get care and put care functions using the code blocks so this is the program and I'm going to execute this program using the code blocks here. So now let us run this program. So please enter a value. So I'm entering the value 5. So it will return 5. So by taking using the get care, it is taking the input from keyboard. And similarly using the put care, it is displaying the value 5 on the screen. And press any key to continue. So it will come out of the command prompt. So this is how we can execute the uh, get care and put care functions that is the uh, unformatted IO functions. So here let us execute the uh, program on formatted input output functions. So this program functionality is similar to the get care and put care but here instead of the get care and put care we are using the printf and scanf functions. So now let us execute this program here. So please enter a value. So I'm entering the value 5 here. So it is returning the value 5. You entered the value 5. Okay. So this is how it, the formatted IO functions will work. So here now let us see the syntax of the printf sound scanner. So in the printf if you see so it is given as control string followed by the arguments. So here the control string denotes the formatting information that is the width and type of data. And the arguments include individual data items like a constant, single variable, array, names, expressions like that. Okay. So here the printf, the syntax is like we are having the control string in the quote, double quotations followed by the number of arguments. Similarly, for the scanf, the syntax is control string followed by the address of the variable. Right? So, scanf is an input function. So, it is going to store the whatever the input given to the keyboard into the address variable. Okay. So, then printf, it is going to uh, print the output onto the screen. Okay. So, here also in the scanf, we are going to take the in the control string information we are going to take the formatting information like uh, width and type of the data and followed by the address of the particular variable 
okay suppose i am entering the scanner with the person d then so it is matched to the expression to the expression address and it will store the particular data entered by the user into the person d okay so now let us see it with an example okay so slash include stdio.h um, so it includes the header file with the standard input output functions next so the program starts execution here void main so int i so we are going to please enter a value so printer please enter a value so it is going to display the please enter a value on the output screen and scan of person d comma address of i okay so we are going to it is going to take a variable i which is the specified as the integer here so that's why we are using the format specifier person d or we can use the format specifier person i here right so here please enter the value so it is given as so we are, i have to enter the value which is the integer so that's why we are specifying it with the format specifier person d comma and uh, address of i so address of i means so, so normally the user is going to enter the data through the keyboard so that data is stored in the address i variable okay and printed you entered person d comma i so that means here it is going in the confirm string you entered person d that is the value which is entered by the user will be displayed onto the screen comma i that particular value okay so here person d means it is going to denote the particular address location here comma i that value okay so like this it is going to execute using the printf and scanf functions if suppose you execute this one so please enter a value means you have to enter the value that is 5 i am entering a value 5 so it is going to read that value 5 from the keyboard and store it into the address location i right it is going to store it in the address location i right and printf you entered so it is going to print you entered so person d means it is going to specify that format specification of this value which is the integer so you entered 5 so it will, it will be the output that is displayed on the screen okay so now let us about the input output functions so here i am taking the uh, the statement int i equals to printf of virtual study time vst i am taking here okay so normally in the case of the uh, input output functions the printer returns number of characters printed by it and whereas the scanner returns number of characters read by it okay so here we are using the printf that's why it is going to display the answer as 3 on the output because so we are using the the printer will return the number of characters printed by it so what are the number of characters in the vst that is 3 right so it will be output to the screen suppose i'm using the scanf here instead of in the place of printf then if i am using the scanf function then it is going to display virtual study time as the output on the screen okay so next see the next statement so printf person 60d comma a okay so here i'm uh, for the variable a so now let us suppose that the variable a equals to 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So now, so it is given that the format specification, it is denoting the width here, right? 6D is the, 6 is the width. And D is the type, data type that we are using. So for D means it denotes the integer type. And here the 6 denotes the width of the particular integer. So the width allocated for the uh, the variable a here so it is going to allocate six locations here right so six location it is going to allocate and then it is going to store the value one two three four here okay so why we are aligning this one two three four to the right side means 
since the person 6 6 is the width is specified here is in the positive range so that's why it is aligned to the right side what is suppose the, um, the given width is of negative sign with the given with the negative sign means then the answer will be different right so the alignment will be to the left side okay. so alignment will be to the left side okay okay so here it is given the width is given three only right so so that i can take only three variables here so percent minus 3d right so minus means so this will not occur so minus 3d means it is going to take give only three spaces here okay and now i am taking the value of the a as 1 2 so 12 i am taking the value as 1 and 2 so now so my, if you are using the negative sign it will be left aligned so it is it will taken as 1 2 okay so if the if the width specification is of positive sign then it will be right uh, right aligned and if it done the width is of the negative sign that is minus 3 like that then the the, the number allotted will be in the left alignment okay so this is about the input output functions so only in the case of the scanner if you are don't use any space or commas or any other characters if you include them if you include them in the scan of so enter them in the output also so don't use any uh, white spaces or commas or any other characters in the case of the scan of function okay so while writing the program if you have included then mention it in the output also so these are all about the basic input output functions in the c language so thanks for watching my video Thank you.